I'd like to give you a warm welcome back to this guy's garage. And if you're new here, you probably got some rusty Jeep fenders, which is the focus of today's video. We're going to be doing metal work, and we're going to repair some rusty fenders. The main focus of this channel isn't high dollar builds, it's low dollar solutions. So, best way to support the channel is hit that subscribe button. Uh, it really helps us out, and we can keep videos like this coming to you. So that's what's coming up. This guy's garage. Like and subscribe. Here we got almost half of them out, and you're gonna see how easy this is to repair. So there's one left to go. So now that we got the fender flare off, here's what we got. So we just want to make our patch and put this line back in to accept the wheel flare, which isn't too bad actually. So and uh, fix up some spots here. So this is just a fixer upper, it's not a restoration, it's just we want to get through inspection and have a look half decent. And here's the inside of the wheel flare here. So, you know, we, we're gonna be able to use this for shaping our patch. So, let's get to work on that. Patch trimmed. I want, before I cut any of the old metal out, I want to get a pattern off the inside of this. And we'll probably be trimming this back to about here. And let's put a mark on this on both sides so we know where the patch goes to. And on the inside. And on the inside. We're gonna mark this right along here. So now that I got my pattern marked out here, I'm gonna take a chisel and a hammer and I'm gonna put a mark in here so I can roll the edge over. Look as factory as possible. Now the reason I'm doing this is when you're making a patch, it has to fit before you weld it on. If the patch doesn't fit before you weld it on. You're going to have a lot more finish work. Now, you can see here, it's marked. Now, when I cut this back, it's going to be easy to roll. By punching the, the metal, it naturally wants to roll where you want it to go. So.
So you can see here, we have a nice rolled edge, exactly the same as it was before. As you can see here, fits the wheel, wheel well molding the way it's supposed to. All right. So you can see here the patch fits on this side. So now that we got our patch shaped, next thing to do is cut out the rusty metal. And if I have the room, I'm gonna crimp it in. If not, I'll have to do a butt weld. But I'm hoping for a overlap with a crimp and that will make this just peachy. Just peachy. So now that you have your panel shaped and marked out, next thing you want to do is mark out where you're going to be cutting out the old sheet metal. So, and it's simple as so. The next thing we're going to do is take the death wheel here with some safety equipment, cut the metal out leaving enough to instep the So if you wanted to know why these fenders rust out so bad, it's because they're double layered. Right here, see, it's glued. This foam, and you gotta be careful of this foam because this can cause a fire. But this foam, or glue, or panel bond, whatever you wanna call it, is the cause of all your problems on these Jeeps. And if you bought new fenders, this problem is built right in. So that's why I chose to repair these fenders. Because right here you can see this panel bond. It's gonna be in the new ones. So <sighs> let's get this off, get it cleaned up, get this welder fired up. So where I can, I want to add some strength, so I'm going to crimp this panel where I can. It's I'm not going to be able to crimp it up here, but I can tap it down and make everything as flush as possible. So now that we have all that cleaned up, let's get to crimping. So what this does, it strengthens up the panel and uh, decreases the amount of warpage you're going to have when you weld in your when you weld in your patch. If you have the money to put new fenders on, by all means, have at it. But this is an old Jeep. Uh, you know, as you can see, Putting new fenders on is an exercise of feudalism because this already had new fenders put on it and they brought it out too, so. This is a repair video. I'm not making no apologies for it.
So before we get too far, make sure that our, uh, whatchamacallit fits back on. So as you can see overall here, it fits pretty good. We're gonna have to do some dollying. Make sure that we get everything fitting tight before we go any further. So that's the next step. So we're just gonna take our chisel, make sure that Have a look at this. It's a whole lot better. Bring this top part out. And that will seal flush. What's wrong with that? Now all depending on how fussy you are, you could stop right here. If you're just looking to get an inspection. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna weld this up solid. But right now you could actually start putting plastic on this probably wouldn't hurt in it. All in all, it'll rust out around here before the well gives away. Never weld in one spot, so stagger your welds. You're supposed to heat. A little bit of a time. Work on that gap a little bit, do some more grinding and get ready to fill it. That's it. That's it. Here we are. Clean up them wells. Make them a little nicer. Undercoat that in there. As you can see, fits the way it's supposed to fit. And that's how you patch a fender. For a Jeep, anyways.
So stay tuned, a few things we got coming up in this project. We're going to do the body work on the fenders. We got some uh, upper control arm mounts to put in it. And a steering box rebuild. And we got to touch up the paint. So all that's coming up. So I hope this metal work video helped you out. You can hit the subscribe button right there. It really helps us out. You can watch another video right around here. Don't be cheap. Leave a like. We appreciate each and every one of you. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, leave them in the box down below. Until the next time, this guy is. This guy's garage. Like and subscribe.